So we're going to look at polydifluoroethylene, figure out what the repeating unit is, calculate the molar mass of that repeating unit, see how many times it goes through the polymer, and then you can figure out your carbon atoms that way. So having a look at polydifluoroethylene, once again, the poly part, cross that out, then you figure out your monomer name from here. Your monomer is difluoroethylene. So difluoroethylene is two carbon atoms with a double bond in the middle. And then there's a fluorine. In this case, they don't actually tell you that the fluorine is on either carbon. If you were to draw in terms of a polymer structure, it would look like this. So this is just the monomer on its own. But if you want to represent it as a repeating unit, that's what it would look like as a polymer. So you break up the double bond, put bonds on either side to show that it's repeating. And then N is just the number of times the monomer repeats. So that's what your monomer looks like. And then I need to calculate the molar mass of my monomer. So what's the molar mass of fluorine? 1.008. Awesome. So if I'm calculating the molar mass of my monomer, it's going to be 2 times 19.00 plus 2 times 12.01 plus 2 times 1.008. And then if I sum that all up, what's the molar mass of my monomer? 64.036. Awesome. So we've agreed that's the molar mass of your monomer. We want to see how many times that goes into the polymer to see how many monomers we have in that sample that they've given us. So this is grams per mole of your monomer. Your molar mass of your polymer, 4.8 times 10 to the 4, that they've given you in the question. So when we do this, we'll see how many times your monomer goes into it. 4.9, thank you. So about 7.50. Now, does that mean there's 750 carbon atoms? So 750 is the amount of times my monomer goes into um, my polymer, but my monomer actually has two carbon atoms each. So this is my number of monomers, spelt that wrong, monomers, <laughs> but my monomer has two carbon atoms each. So it's times two carbons per monomer. So that's going to be 750 times two, which is about 1,500 carbon atoms. So popping that in here, your answer for this one's going to be B.